welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here if you are new here hey what's up my name's Danny and I'm here to bring you yet another New York City guide I posted one of these videos for the first time a few months ago and you guys seem to absolutely love it in that video I was able to showcase some really really cool places in the city while simultaneously showing you outfits that you can wear to these really cool places so it was a little two-in-one and because I got such a good response in that video I decided to bring it back with yet another video sponsored by Princess Polly. Huge thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video and for giving me yet another coupon code to share with you guys. So if you want to save 20% off your next order on Princess Polly, all you have to do is use the code DannyJ20 and you will get 20% off, which is pretty amazing. Princess Polly ships from within the United States and offers free express shipping on US orders over $50. And they also offer after pay and shop pay to US customers. That way you can pay in increments rather than paying all of your money upfront. I am so excited to share these pieces with you guys. So without further ado, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And let's get into it. So as you guys are very well aware of at this point, I made a promise to myself in the beginning of this summer that I was going to go on as many dates as possible because it's fun and I like meeting new people. But one thing that I underestimated was how many outfits I need for all of these dates. Not that I can't wear the same thing, but like it's fun to switch it up, you know? So I found this romper on Princess Polly and right when I saw it, I was like, right there there we go this is a date outfit it won't even do it justice when i show you holding up which is why we do a try on version but this black romper is so incredibly flattering and at first glance looks kind of basic but it is very far from because on the sides it has two little cutouts so you have like a little bit of skin but it's still like mostly covered up and the entire back is open and when you have a romper like that you of course need a good pair of shoes to pair with it which is why I picked up these on the Princess Polly website and I am in love I needed a new pair of black boots as is especially one that were as simple as these but what really sold me is the heel height and the width of the heel because I personally like being tall so I like getting heels that are as big as possible just like this but I also need heels that are thick enough because that makes them more comfortable to walk in and this checks both of those boxes. So once you have an outfit like that, you need a cool place to go. My first recommendation for you guys is The Spaniard. The Spaniard is a really, really cool restaurant and bar that I think not only would work as a great date spot, but also a place to go with your friends before going out to a bar. The audience the audience the crowd i guess is a better word that shows up at the spaniard is definitely a bit older so you won't feel like you're surrounded by college kids it definitely feels a little bit more upscale especially considering the fact that their cocktails are like specialty cocktails and just the ambiance as a whole makes for a really good place to either get to know somebody or have a good time with your friends and now we're going to pose a hypothetical situation say you do go on a date to the spaniard and it goes really well and you hit it off with the person that you went with and you guys start dating that's fantastic i'm so happy for you it will eventually come time to meet the parents i've never been in that situation but i can imagine it is a very high pressure situation which means you need two things a good place to take the parents too and a good outfit to wear so we'll kick it off with the outfit because I mean you <laughs> you're not ready or maybe you are ready because I showed this dress in my last vlog and you were obsessed with it and were asking me for the link this is the next piece this princess Polly dress I have truly never received so many compliments on a piece of clothing in my life I wore it to the Whitney Museum the other day and as I was walking around the museum random girls were coming up to me and being like I love your dress so much and then afterwards I went on a walk and people were literally stopping me in the street to tell me how much they love my dress so if that's not enough to sell you on it I don't know what is it is the most gorgeous dress with the most gorgeous open back to match I just feel so pretty in this that is really the only way to put it and I feel as though this dress would be the perfect thing to put on if you were going to meet the parents and if you are I recommend that you go to the butcher's daughter the butcher's daughter is a spot that I love particularly for their brunch of course they serve breakfast lunch and dinner but their brunch is really special it's definitely not the place to go to if you're in the mood for a bottomless brunch by any means it's definitely more so on the classier side but they do have multiple locations all across the city and all of which are decorated really similarly in the sense where it's very light and airy and I just feel like if you wore a dress like that 
you would fit the vibe really really well and it's definitely more tame so it's a good place to bring people that you're either meeting for the first time or say your parents are coming to visit you in the city that would also be a very good place to go of course i couldn't film this video without giving you guys the best of the best going out shirt recommendations. I might be a little biased because it's all I'll leave the house in, but I personally think that Princess Polly has the best going out shirts on the market. That's really where I go to to buy all of mine, and I know a lot of my friends are in the same boat. So I got three of them. The first of which is this beautiful pink top that I already have so many plans for for Halloween. I just feel like this is going to be perfect for some sort of Halloween costume that I haven't planned yet. But the shape of this top is just so different from anything else that I own. I think the closest thing I can compare it to is a bandana top because it kind of ties in a similar way. There is a layer of mesh on top of something that is not see-through underneath. So you can kind of see a little bit of skin on your stomach, but then everything up here is totally covered. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of went a little mesh crazy but I think it's kind of in right now so I'm gonna run with it I got this brown top which can we just talk about it I wore this in my last vlog you guys might have already seen it but I just I love this shirt so much it is just nice and simple in the front it's a brown mesh but then the back is completely open obviously you guys can tell I'm into my open back tops I think that they're very flattering and I like the fact that it's long sleeve because it makes it a little different from all of my other going out tops which essentially are just short sleeve crop tops <laughs> And finally, yet another mesh top. Here we are. This one is actually a bodysuit. I got all of the main colors, I think. I got black, brown, and I also have a white long sleeve that I'll show you. But this is what this last bodysuit looks like. Nearly impossible to show you while I'm holding it up, but it is incredibly flattering, especially because of the fact that it has a zipper in the back, so it really holds you in. And I just like how the sleeves look, because since they're all mesh, it gives the bodysuit a bit of a fancier look without having to drop a whole bunch of money on something that could potentially be super expensive somewhere else. So now you have three potential going out outfits. Where are you going to wear them? I have two recommendations for you guys, and if you're feeling super ambitious, you could do them both in one night, but you might as well just split it up so you have time to wear all of your new Princess Polly pieces. But the first one is the Happiest Hour. Happiest Hour is a cocktail lounge in the West Village, and what I think makes this place super special is the fact that when you go on their cocktail list. It'll list a whole bunch of bodies of a drink. So if you want something with watermelon, they have something with watermelon or mango, whatever you want, but it will never list a type of alcohol. So essentially all you have to do is choose the base of a drink and then choose whatever type of alcohol you want to put in there. That in combination with the music that they play and their amazing wait staff. If you go ask for Mason, 10 out of 10 guy, he made our night so much fun. As a whole, this place is just amazing. And if you're feeling really ambitious, you can go from the happiest hour to 310 Bowery. Located in two completely different parts of the city, so again, you might wanna do this on two different nights, 310 Bowery is such a fun place. This is just the go-to place if you wanna go with a whole bunch of your girlfriends and dance the entire night, which is what I'm in the mood for more often than not. It is such a great vibe and it's also in a nice area in the sense where if you get bored of this place, you can walk next door and go to a different place. I know recently the weather in New York City has been kind of spotty during daylight hours, but just in case things decide to turn around, I wanted to give you guys a recommendation of a cool place to go and fun things to wear if you are going out in the middle of the day and wanna to go to a fun restaurant. We'll start with the clothes because one of the pieces is on my body right now. This shirt, I mean, can we? talk about it for a second. I love this shirt so much. I think the main reason I like it is because it definitely has a bit of a corset style to it without being super restrictive. This is a really, really breathable material, so I don't feel like I can't move in it, and I especially know that I can wear it during the summer, which I cannot say for all corset tops, but I just really, really love the cut of it. I think it's so flattering, and with a nice pair of distressed jeans, it's just a very effortless outfit, but you look really cute. But just in case this shirt isn't your style, I have a feeling that this one might be. I wore this shirt the other day when I was going and running errands in Soho, and I think it really gave me this model off duty look. And I think the main reason for that is, I mean, at first glance, it just looks like a regular white tank top, 
but on the sides it's completely open because it's a thick material you don't have to wear a bra but it does give you a little bit of side boob action so if that's something that you're into I say pick it up because it is such an amazing shirt and just in case you get lucky and you find yourself with a really nice day I recommend that you go to Gilligan's in Soho Gilligan's is an outdoor restaurant that has this theme where I guess it's tropical theme where they have a whole bunch of palm trees and a whole bunch of everything and they have without a doubt the best watermelon margarita I have ever had in my entire life it is beautifully presented first of all and just the flavor is I mean next level you have to experience it to like fully understand but I love that place so much and I feel like if you rolled up in either of these tops you would fit right in and it would also make it for a very cute picture while you're holding your drink and you have a nice shirt on I just feel like that's perfect kind of bouncing off of that last one one thing that I find myself really drawn to is restaurants and bars in New York City that almost feel like you're in a different state or a different country just feeling like you're having a little bit more of an escape is really really cool to me so just how I described Gilligan's as having this cool theme where they have palm trees and it feels kind of tropical there's another recommendation that I have for you and this place is called Gatano I actually went on a date to Gatano a few weeks ago and I really really liked it Definitely an amazing spot for a date because of the way that the tables are situated. It feels a little bit more intimate and less structured in the sense where you're not sitting across the table from somebody. You're able to sit on the same side of the booth and it just makes for an easier flowing conversation, I think. But the entire vibe of this place is kind of based around Tulum. So it, they definitely succeeded with that because they have palm trees everywhere and just the bar area as a whole feels like you are in Tulum. It's next level, honestly. The one caveat I will say to this place is that it is quite expensive. So if you're planning on going, maybe with a few of your friends I recommend that you do a little drinking beforehand so you can be prepared but that's just a pro tip coming from me but when you're going to this place you're gonna want to take pictures it's just inevitable so you gotta have a good fit if I had this skirt when I went on that date there is no doubt in my mind that I would have ended up wearing it this brown snakeskin skirt is just so different from anything else that I have in my closet and I just think it fits the vibe so well so whether you're going to that place or you're going anywhere else I definitely recommend that you guys pick up the skirt because it's so incredibly flattering and it just becomes such an interesting piece to add to your closet and kind of spice up any other basic outfit that you might wear something I hold very near and dear to my heart is a good girls night this is something that I prioritize and is also something that I think is just so amazing the idea of getting together a group of really great girls and all simultaneously deciding that it's gonna be an amazing night I love that feeling and if you are like me in that sense and you're trying to plan a girls night you need two things the first of which is a good place that can handle all of that energy and the second is a good outfit if at least one of you who's watching this video doesn't end up picking up the shirt I'm going to be so disappointed simply because everyone deserves to have this shirt in their life it is so incredibly flattering and the fact that it is satin makes it photograph really really well it comes in a bunch of colors but I think my favorite thing about the shirt is the way that it hangs because the sleeves actually don't sit up here like this shirt does it sits a little further out and it doesn't fall down because there's like this little silicone piece on the sleeves making it so that it stays upright and you're not constantly trying to adjust it I love this shirt so much it's so easy to make super fancy if you want or also super casual in general just such an amazing piece that I think you all deserve to have in your closet and if you're going out and you're wearing a shirt like that you got to go to a really fun place and I recommend that you go to wild in the West Village particularly on Wednesdays because Wednesdays is ladies night and every table of girls gets a free bottle of Prosecco which obviously is a game changer and not only that but the food is really really good a little note for all of you who might be gluten-free this place is hundred percent gluten-free which is amazing and just all in all the drinks are good the food is good the vibe is good it's right on Hudson Street which is one of my favorite streets right now in the city because it's super lively and you're just bound to have an amazing time and that my friends is going to be it for this video I really really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you thought and also which piece from Princess Polly was your favorite if you end up picking anything up make sure to use the code DannyJ20 for 20% off I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you very soon in my next video.